Welcome Morph on the Go families to another music class with Miss Chloe. We're going to get started as usual with our hello song followed by our weather song. So let's get started. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Now we're going to be moving on to our weather song. Here we go. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Tell me children, what's the weather? What's the weather like So now you can share what the weather's like today on this day that you're watching this music class. For me, today it was a sunny day, but perhaps for you it could be windy or cloudy or rainy or also sunny. In springtime, sometimes we can experience all of these things in one day. And speaking of these different weather patterns, we're gonna sing a song now. And before I tell you what song it is, I'm going to play the tune of the song for you on the xylophone. Do you recognize that tune? If you said, Oh, Mr. Sun, then you are correct. So we're going to be singing, Oh, Mr. Sun together to start today. And that means we need sunshine arms. So when we're singing about Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. We're going to have our hands up to show the sunshine. And there's also going to be a time when we're going to clap our hands. Okay. The second part of our song is about Mr. Wind. So we're going to have our wind arms blowing and blowing and blowing like this. And then after we have our wind arms, we're going to get to some clapping again. And then there's one more verse about Mr. Cloud, Cloud, Mr. Puffy Cloud. And you know the cloud brings the rain. So we're going to have raindrop fingers coming down from the sky like this. Raindrop fingers. And then we'll get to some clapping again. So we're starting with our sun, which means our sunshine arms go up, and it sounds like this. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. sun please shine down on me awesome and now we need our wind arms for oh mr wind here we go oh mr wind wind mr blowing wind please come blow on me oh mr wind wind mr blowing wind hiding behind a tree Well done. Now we need our raindrop fingers 
coming from Oh Mr. Cloud Cloud, Mr. Puffy Cloud. For our final verse, here we go. Oh Mr. Cloud Cloud, Mr. Puffy Cloud, please come rain on me. Oh Mr. Cloud Cloud, Mr. Puffy Cloud, hiding behind a tree. Boom! These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Cloud, Cloud, Mr. Puffy Cloud, please come rain on me. Well done. Give yourselves a big clap, 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 clap. Wonderful. So the next song we're going to be singing about is animals that are hatching from eggs. And this is another thing that happens in springtime is we see a lot of animals hatching from eggs. So let's talk about animals that hatch from eggs. I bet you can think of some, like perhaps different kinds of birds or different kinds of reptiles or what else can hatch from eggs? Hmm. I bet you can think of many different animals. Now I've got some animals in my um, animal bag here that are gonna come out and help us. We're also gonna be learning some special rhythms to go with this song. I'm gonna move my xylophone to the side and I'm gonna take out something to act as a drum. I'm going to use this um, Tupperware here and I'm also going to use two chopsticks that I can tap for this song. So this song is called, Who's That Hatching? And it's about asking the question, who's that hatching, who's that hatching, who's that hatching from the egg? And there will be some special rhythms we need to tap in between those sentences. Then I'm gonna be reaching in and finding an animal that hatches from an egg. And when I have that animal, I'm gonna be saying, let's say for example, an owl. I'm going to be singing, I'm a baby owl. So I'd like you to greet that owl and say, hello baby owl. I'm a baby owl. Hello baby owl. And then we'll get back to that's who's hatching and we will have our special rhythm there. Okay. So when we ask the first question, Who's that hatching? After that, we're gonna to count to four and make four taps on our instrument. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna ask again. Who's that hatching? And we're gonna have another four taps. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna ask one more time, but a little bit of a longer question. Who's that hatching from the egg? And then I'm gonna tap eight times. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. And then I will be pulling out a hatching animal. Okay? So how about we will use our owl for our first one. I'll put him right here so we can have him hatching from, well, the bag, but we're gonna pretend it's from the egg, okay? So this is the first time we're gonna sing it all the way through. Here we go. Who's that hatching? One, two, three, four. Who's that hatching? One, two, three, four. Who's that hatching from the egg? Now eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's our owl. I'm a baby owl. Hello, baby owl. I'm a baby owl. Hello, baby owl. And that's who's hatching. One, two, three, four. That's who's hatching. One, two, three, four. That's who's hatching in the egg. Now eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Give yourselves a drum roll. Wonderful. I'm going to move our little owl to the side. Thank you, owl, for being the first volunteer. The next animal will be a surprise. So let's start our song again from the top. Here we go. Who's that hatching? One, two, three, four. Who's that hatching?
hatching? One, two, three, four. Who's that hatching in the egg? Now eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm gonna reach in. I wonder who it's gonna be that's hatching from the egg. Hmm. <gasps> what is this? You see a penguin? All right, so I'm gonna sing. I'm a baby penguin, and we say, hello, baby penguin. I'm a baby penguin. Hello, baby penguin. And that's who's hatching. One, two, three, four. That's who's hatching. One, two, three, four. That's who's hatching from the egg. No, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you, penguin. We're going to move our penguin to the side. And it will be time to start again, and then we'll have one more surprise animal join us. All right, here we go from the top. Who's that hatching? One, two, three, four. Who's that hatching? One, two, three, four. Who's that hatching from the egg? Now eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see who's hatching now. Oh, oh. It's a long one. Oh. Who's that? Is that a snake? Snakes hatch, hatch from eggs too. So we can sing. I'm a baby snake. Hello, baby snake. I'm a baby snake. Hello, baby snake. And that's who's hatching. One, two, three. That's who's hatching. One, two, three, four. That's who's hatching from the egg. Now eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wonderful. Feel free to sing this song some more with other hatching animals. Maybe you have some stuffies at home of different animals that hatch. Or if you don't have stuffies, you can just think of different animals that hatch and you can just say their names. Let me move our animal friends to the side. And we're going to do one more exercise today, another rhythm exercise. This is a poem instead of a song, and it is another um, tapping kind of poem, so I suggest you can use the same instrument or a different instrument. I'm gonna get out a pot and I'm going to use these wooden utensils this time. It's a bit of a different sound. Now you may have heard of the story Brown Bear before. So this is kind of like a take on Brown Bear, but I've changed up the words to match with a springtime theme. So it's all going to be about a big bear instead of a brown bear and things that the big bear is going to see. The first thing the big bear is going to see is a flower growing because I'm sure you see lots of flowers growing outside since it's springtime. And then the flower that's growing is going to see a birdie chirping. And then that chirping birdie is going to see a squirrel running, 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 running. And that squirrel that's running is going to see a ladybug flying. And then that ladybug that's flying is going to see a big, tall, tree. And guess what? Because that ladybird can go up that big tall tree, it says, can't catch me. So let me say this poem for you and show you how we're going to tap along the rhythm. And then after, um, we'll do it again together. So it sounds like this. Big bear, big bear, what do you see? I see a flower growing, can't catch Flower growing, flower growing, what do you see? I see a birdie chirping, can't catch me. Birdie chirping, birdie chirping, what do you see? I 
see a squirrel running, can't catch me. Squirrel running, squirrel running, what do you see? I see a ladybug flying, can't catch me. Ladybug flying, ladybug flying, what do you see? I see a big tall tree, can't catch me. Wonderful. So we're going to do that again through one more time in the video, but you can always rewind and try it as many times as you want and with many different instruments too. I'm going to count to four this time before we start. One, two, three, four. Big bear, big bear, what do you see? I see a flower growing, can't catch me. Flower growing, flower growing, what do you see? I see a birdie chirping, can't catch me. Birdie chirping, birdie chirping, what do you see? I see a squirrel running, can't catch me. Squirrel running, squirrel running, what do you see? I see a ladybug flying, can't catch me. Ladybug flying, ladybug flying, what do you see? I see a big tall tree, can't catch me. Wonderful. I hope you enjoyed that rhythm poem. And that's all for today. So we are going to sing our goodbye song now until we meet again next time. We'll sing goodbye, our time is done. We'll sing goodbye to everyone. We'll sing goodbye, this song will tell. You make music very well. And a big round of applause for yourselves. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.